everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia Camarda if you're new, and today we are going to be doing what is on my iPad mini, as well as how I do my digital planning and how I set that up. I actually just came out with it last month. It is on my website, sadjal.com. If you haven't seen, I did unbox this iPad a few months ago and started an iPad mini cult. I'm happy to report that I'm still an active cult member. So before we get into the iPad, here is the iPad mini itself. This is the iPad mini 6 in starlight, and I do have the white Apple smart folio on it as well as the Apple pencil. Now I'm gonna give you guys a close look of the iPad so let's check it out. Here's my lock screen. It says vibing and thriving and this wallpaper is from the new flow theme pack. When you enter the iPad I have one home screen page and this just has all of my main apps that I use on a daily basis. The wallpaper and icon covers are also from the flow theme pack which by the way also looks amazing on iPhone. On the top left I have four widgets. The calendar clock, Tesla, and Spotify. I love having the Tesla app on my iPad mini because I use it as a second key, which is so nice, especially if I don't have my phone or if I'm using the Bluetooth on my phone and I don't want it to connect to my car, I can always use it on my iPad, which is even better. If you follow my channel, you know that I absolutely love Spotify and making fun playlists. So this is my newest one, luxury beach resort where no kids are allowed. And honestly, this playlist is giving resort in Boca for me. <laughs> Next we've got the weather widget and I gave this the biggest size because I love Apple's weather app. It is just the absolute best creation. Honestly, it's so beautiful. I love checking the weather every day. Next we've got the camera, photos, maps, notes, and Instagram. I don't understand why Facebook will not make a proper Instagram for the iPad. But anyway, here is the Sagel shop page if you want to go check it out and give it a follow. Then we have Patreon. So if you want to go check that out, we do have both bonus videos on there as well. You also get all the free downloads for Sagel if you are a member, so that's a huge bonus. Then there's Discord. If you aren't in iBaddy, you should definitely join it. It's a free server where we talk about Apple products. Our most popular chats are obviously the iPhone channel as well as the iPad mini and the digital planning chat. Here is an exclusive look on the inside of the iPad mini cult where all of us assemble our iPad minis and you know, do iPad mini things. <laughs> then we've got TikTok, which is honestly my favorite social media app right now. It's just so entertaining and it's even more fun to watch on an iPad mini. Then the next few apps are more for productivity. So I have Shopify, the YouTube studio, Chase, PayPal, Stripe, and Procreate. Then lastly, we have the Kindle app, which I have been getting more into reading books on here. I think the screen is absolutely amazing. There's also a widget that says go with the flow, which is part of the flow theme pack. Now we're getting on to the planner, which is what I I use my iPad mini for the most. This is obviously the Sagel planner. I carry this iPad mini around with me everywhere, so I am always using my planner. I have been really getting into it lately now that it's finished. I love digital planning and I've always wanted to have a digital planner, so I thought, let me just make my own and honestly, it goes off. This is the index and it's got hyperlinks for everything, so if you click on a single month, it'll take you to that month. For example, here is June and it's featuring the new summer stickers that I came out with and there's also also tabs on the side of each page. It also has extra templates, for example, these planners here, as well as notes pages. So here's a look at how I set up my stickers. So I have collections for each of my digital sticker sets. These are the new Summer Wave stickers and not to brag, but they're so freaking cute. They have this little aqua theme, as well as these cute little starfish and tropical shapes. I also have the regular Sagel planner stickers that come with the planner when you buy it. And these are more of a beige aesthetic and honestly, they're so cute as well. So here's what they look like. As you can see, I use the summer ones to decorate my monthly spread. There's also weekly spreads with daily horizontal formats. So you can go in and write details for every single day and outline how you want your week to look. There's also a weekly goals section where you can set up your goals for the week. And I like this because it keeps you motivated. I also have reviews at the end of each month. So you can also go in with your stickers and also make it look really cute. There's even these little photo album stickers where you can put a picture inside and you can get really creative with this so you can make like a nice little collage and just highlight your favorite moments from the month. On the review page, there's also a section to put your accomplishments as well as your favorite memories. Here's a look at some of the templates too. So this is the daily planner template. Here's a loose example of how I would use this for my day as well as the goal planner where you can set a specific goal and follow through with that. There's also budget planners where you can keep track of your your finances for the month and also there is a wellness planner here's an example
example of how I would use this so you can set your different workouts as well as a mood tracker, weekly goals, your steps, and your water intake. Then for the notes, we have lined paper notes as well as dotted paper notes. Here's an example of me using one of the stickers. And then there is also blank pages which are useful as well. There's also a yearly glance as well if you want to just see the calendar for each month and get a look at the year. And those are hyperlinked. So now here's a look at how I would actually start using my planner to plan out my week. I do like to do my monthly spread first just to get a glance of what's going on. My favorite thing recently has been using these starfish stickers as bullet points. Some people like to use text in their planners, but I personally like to use my Apple Pencil. So here's me just writing that I'm going to film what's on my iPad. I think I've accomplished that goal. And again, because the planner is so minimal on its own, you can really use the stickers to make it look cute and dress it up to your liking. And for that, it's very customizable. So that was a very simple example of how I use my digital planner. Obviously, you can get really into it with all of the customizations and making it look cute and doing a whole theme. But I am more of a simplistic person, so this is my approach. And I would say it looks really cute. I do want to add there is a light version of the planner on the website that is for free download if you want to try it out first. But yeah, here is a look at my planner. It's so cute. I love it specifically on the iPad mini. This is the best device for digital planning. The screen is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at how crispy everything looks and it's still so portable. I just absolutely love this and I'm so happy to be the founder of the iPad mini cult because once you go iPad mini, you do not go back. And here's a final look at my iPad mini home screen and how I've got it set up. I hope you guys liked it and definitely let me know if you have any questions in the comments. So that was everything on my iPad mini. I hope you guys liked it. I absolutely love this thing and it has been so useful. So if you haven't got an iPad mini already, I highly suggest it. It has been running my life and it's just so cute. It's just freaking cute. Thank you guys for watching. As always, you can check out the planner as well as all the accessories and the theme packs on sadgel.com and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!